welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course samasa in paninian grammar 2 as is our practice we begin our lecture with the recitation of the mangala charana vishvesham satchidanandam vandeham yokhilan jagat charikarti बरी भरती संजरी हरती लीलया विश्वेशम सच्चिदानंदम वंदेहम यो खिलन जगत चरी करती बरी भरती संजरी हरती लीलया इन दिस कोर्स वी आर फोकस्ड ऑन द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ important samasas in sanskrit namely the avyay bhava samasa bahuvrihi samasa and dvandava samasa currently we are focused on the avyay bhava samasa an extremely important type of samasas in sanskrit the features of the avyay bhava samasa can be explained in the form of an equation shown on this particular slide here we have x and y shown to be two different independent entities they are independent in terms of the word form as well as the meaning as well as the accent x has got its own meaning x has got its own word form and also an accent and so and so y also has got these three aspects word form the meaning as well as the accent now the plus sign between x and y shows that they are interrelated the speaker of sanskrit wants to merge them together and generate one output in the form of xy so now xy is the one unit of output to show the interrelation of this output with its constituents we can say that amongst x and y x acts as the head of xy and that's why it is shown in the bold characters now xy is one unit in terms of the word form as well as the meaning as well as the accent so it has got three features namely aikarthya ekarthata aikapadya ekapadata and aikasvarya or ekasvarata in this xy x acts as the head in the avyay bhava samasa formally as well as semantically it acts as the head now in the avyay bhava samasa without a few with a few exceptions x is an avyaya now avyay bhava samasa is termed also as an avyaya y is not an avyaya so anavyayam avyayam bhavati something that is not an avyaya turns into an avyaya that is the meaning of the word avyay bhava and therefore x which is an avyaya acts as the head as far as the word form is concerned in the output unit xy semantically also when xy is linked with another word in the sentence this interlinkage happens only through x and never through y these are the features of the avyay bhava samasa in the ashtadhyayi the core text of the paninian grammatical tradition the avyay bhava samasa is treated at different places so first we have samasa vidhayaka sutras which are stated in 2.1 and 2.2 in general as far as the avyay bhava samasa is concerned 
they are stated in 2.1 to be precise from 2.1.5 that is avyayi bhavaha up to 2.1.21 namely anya padarthe cha saudnyayam incidentally 2.1.22 is tatpurushaha from where the sutras prescribing the tatpurusha samasa begin we have dealt with this we have studied it in detail in the first course on samasa in this particular series in the previous lecture we finished studying the avyayi bhava samasa vidhayaka sutras then we have the samasanta pratyaya vidhayaka sutras namely the sutras which prescribe a suffix to be added at the end of a samasa from 54107 up to 54112 and is it is this section that we are going to study in this particular lecture then we have swara vidhayaka sutras namely the sutras which prescribe the accent namely 62121 etc let us study the samasanta pratyaya vidhayaka sutras samasanta pratyaya is a suffix added at the end of the samasa it is part of that samasa so the samasanta pratyaya vidhayaka sutras related to the avyayi bhava samasa are stated from 54107 up to 54112 let us study the first sutra 54107 which is avyayi bhave sharat prabhritibhya avyayi bhave sharat prabhritibhya there are two padas in the sutra avyayi bhave and sharat prabhritibhya avyayi bhave is 7/1 which means in the avyayi bhava samasa sharat prabhritibhya is 5/3 which means immediately after the words sharat etc words continued are touch which is 1/1 from 5491 rajah sakibhyas touch samasantah which is 1/3 from 5468 pratyayah from 311 having put all these together the meaning of the sutra is the following in the avyayi bhava samasa immediately after the words sharat etc the samasanta suffix touch is added i repeat in the avyayi bhava samasa avyayi bhave immediately after the words sharat etc sharat prabhritibhya the samasanta suffix samasantah pratyaya touch is added let us now look at the examples when the meaning to be conveyed is near the autumn sharat is autumn so we have sharadaha samipam as the laukika vigraha in sanskrit now in this case the samasa is prescribed by the sutra avyayam vibhakti samipa samruddhi vridhyartha bhavatyaya samprati shabda pradurbhava paschad yathanupurvya yogapadya sadrishya sampatti sakalyanta vachaneshu so here an avyaya up which denotes the sense of proximity samip something which is close near it gets compounded because the word avyaya is mentioned in prathama in the sutra avyayam vibhakti etc it becomes upasarjana and by the sutra upasarjanam purvam it occupies the initial position in the samasa so we have the alaukika vigraha of sharada samipam as upa plus su plus sharat plus ngas this is the alaukika vigraha now this gets the samasa saudnya by the sutra avyayam vibhakti etc and then it gets the pratipadika saudnya and now because it is samasa we add the suffix touch here on account of this present sutra avyayi bhave sharat prabhritibhya 
So now we have upa plus su plus sharad plus ngas plus tach. In the samasanta suffix tach, t consonant and ch consonant, they are markers. And so they both are deleted by the sutra tasya lopaha. 1, 3 and 8. Now we have upa plus 0 plus sharat plus 0. That is because of the application of the sutra supodhatu pratipadika yoho and a which is touch. So upa plus 0 plus sharat plus 0 plus a. When we join them together, we get the form upa sharada, which is the finally derived compound output of sharada samipam. Now this avyayi bhava samasa ends in a. Remember, sharat ends in the, but this samasa ends in a. Now when we add the suffix su after upa sharada, Upasharada being the avyayi bhava samasa is termed as avyaya and therefore normally by the application of the sutra avyayadapsopaha su is deleted but because of the exception sutra now avyayi bhava datom tvapanchamyaha which says that su is substituted by am when the avyayi bhava samasa ends in short a so we have upasharada plus am and then we apply the Sandhi rules and we get the form Upasharadam. Upasharadam Senapatihi Prayati. That is the sentence that uses the Samasa Upasharada. The commander of the army goes close to the autumn. Upasharadam Senapatihi Prayati. This compound is prescribed by 216. Upasharadam senapatihi prayati. The commander of the army goes, goes means he goes on war close to the autumn. Similarly, when the meaning to be conveyed is towards the autumn, the laukika vigraha is sharadaha abhimukhyam. Once again, the samasa over here is formed by the big sutra avyayam vibhakti samipa etc. So when the meaning to be conveyed is towards the autumn, we have Sharadaha Abhimukhyam as the Laukika Vigraha. The Samasa is stated by the Sutra Lakshanena Abhiprati Abhimukhye, which states the word Abhi and Prati in Prathama and therefore they become Upasarjana and therefore they occupy the initial position of the Samasa. So we have Prati plus Su plus Sharat plus Ngas. Now this is the Alaukika Vigraha. This gets the Samasa Saudhnya and then it gets the Pratipadika Saudhnya. The very moment it gets the Samasa Saudhnya, we add the Samasanta suffix touch there. So we have Prati plus Su plus Sharat plus Ngas plus touch. Now we have got the Pratipadika Saudhnya. So we apply the sutra Supodhatu Pratipadika Yoho and delete both the sups. So we have Prati plus 0 plus Sharat plus 0 plus A. When we join them together, we get the finally derived Avey Bhava compound output Prati Sharada. Now we add the samasa, now we add the suffix su after Prati Sharada. Because Prati Sharada is an Avey Bhava samasa. It is termed as avyaya by the sutra avyayi bhavascha and then by the normal sutra avyayadapsapaha, su would get deleted. But because of the exception sutra, which says that if an avyayi bhava samasa ends in short a, su is not deleted, rather it is substituted by am, we have now pratisharada plus am. When we join them together because of the Sandhi rules, we get the form Pratisharadam. Pratisharadam. Pratisharadam nadyaha sthirabhavanti. Reverse becomes steady facing the autumn. The compound is prescribed by A2114 Lakshanena Abhiprati Abhimukhye. The previous two examples were with reference to the word sharat, 
So what is Sharat Prabhruti, Sharat etc? There is a list of words which we shall see later on. The next word in this list is Vipash, which is the name of a river. So now, when we say Vipashaha Samipam, near the river Vipash, Vipashaha Samipam, this is the Laukika Vigraha, and we follow the same procedure shown earlier, and so we get Upa plus Su plus Vipash plus Nas, and then we add the Samasanta suffix touch. So now the Samasa ends in a, so we have Upa Vipasha as the finally derived Avyayi Bhava compound output and then we add the suffix su to it and then we do not delete it we substitute it by am on account of the sutra now Avyayi Bhavad Atom Tvapanchamyaha and so we get the form Upa Vipasham to be used in the sentence so Upa Vipasham Parvataha Vartate there is a mountain near the river Vipash remember Vipash is uh, the name of a river ending in sh and the samasa ending in vipash in this way is ending in a because of the samasanta pratyaya. Similarly, when the meaning to be conveyed is towards the river vipash, vipashaha abhimukhyam, this is the laukika vigraha, and then on account of the sutra, lakshanena abhiprati abhimukhye. The Avyayi Bhava Samasa takes place and we get the finally derived compound output Prati Vipasha, which then is used in the sentence as Prati Vipasham. Hastinaha Prati Vipasham Gachanti. The elephants go towards the river Vipash in order to drink water or something else also. Hastinaha Prati Vipasham Gachanti. So Vipash becomes the Lakshana of spotting the elephants. And here the Avyaya Prati is also used to indicate the Abhimukhya. So the elephants are moving towards this river. So they are facing the river. So there is Abhimukhya there. And therefore the Sutra applies and we get the Samasa Prati Vipasham. So now let us see what is Sharad Prabhruti. The first word is Sharad ending in the, And the list of words includes Sharad. Vipash, Anas, Manas, Anas and Manas ending in Sa, Upanaha, Upanaha ending in Ha, Dev ending in Va, Himavat ending in Ta, Anaduha ending in Ha, Dish, Drish ending in Sh, Chatur ending in Ra, Yad and Tad. These are the words in this particular list which undergo this operation and get the samasanta suffix touch added to them. There are some Gana Sutras stated in this particular list. Let us study them one by one. The first one is Charaya Jarascha. What this means is that in the Avyayi Bhava Samasa, immediately after the word Jara, the samasanta suffix touch is added and the word jara is substituted by jaras. I repeat, in the avyayi bhava samasa, immediately after the word jara, the samasanta suffix touch is added and the word jara is substituted by jaras. So now when we have the example in this form, when the meaning to be conveyed is near the old age, and we get the samasa prescribed by the sutra avyayam vibhakti samipa etc. So upa is the avyaya in the sense of samipa. It gets compounded with the semantically related subanta jara. And so we have the laukika vigraha jarayaha samipe. The alaukika vigraha is upa plus su plus jara plus nasa. Now we get the samasa saudhnya by the sutra avyayam vibhakti etc. And then we immediately add the samasanta suffix touch because of 54107. So we have upa plus su plus jara plus ngas plus touch. Now we get the pratipadika saudhnya. Then we apply the sutra supodhatu pratipadika yoho and delete both the sups. So now we have upa plus zero plus jara plus zero plus a. 
and then when we join them together we get the form upajara but before that we apply this gana sutra and substitute the word jara by jaras so we get upa plus jaras plus a and finally the compound output is upajarasa ending in short a when we use it in the sentence we add the suffix su after it because upajarasa is an avyayi bhava samasa it is termed as avyaya and by a, by the application of the sutra avyaya dap supaha su gets deleted but because of the exception sutra navyayi bhava atom to vanchamya su is not deleted rather it is substituted by am and so we have upajarasam upajarasam harim smarati he remembers hari near the old age when he becomes old he remembers hari upajarasam harim smarati let us now study the second gana sutra this is prati par sam anubhya akshnah prati par sam anubhya akshnah what it means is the following in the avyayi bhava samasa immediately after the word akshi which is preceded by prati par sam and anu the samasanta suffix touch is added i repeat in the avyayi bhava samasa immediately after the word akshi akshi means an i which is preceded by the avyayas namely prati par sam and anu the samasanta suffix touch is added so when we have towards the eyes that is the sense that is the meaning to be conveyed akshnoho abhimukham that is the laukika vigraha which can also be expressed by akshini prati and now we have the alaukika vigraha prati plus su prati denoting abhimukha lakshanena abhiprati abhimukhe 2114 and so we have prati plus su plus akshi plus os now we get the samasa saudnya by the sutra lakshanena abhiprati abhimukhe and then we get the pratipadika saudnya and then we add the samasanta suffix touch so we have prati plus su plus akshi plus os plus touch then we apply supodhatu pratipadika yoho and delete both the sups so we have prati plus 0 plus akshi plus 0 plus a and then we apply the sutra yasya teacher 64148 and delete the final e in akshi and so we get prati plus 0 plus aksha plus 0 plus a and when we join these elements together we get the form prati aksha and then we apply the sandhi rule and we get the form pratyaksha towards the eyes pratyaksha this is the avyayi bhava samasa ending in short a now when we add the suffix su after it to use it in the sentence by the sutra avyaya dap supaha su would be deleted because pratyaksha is an avyayi bhava samasa therefore it is an avyaya but because of the exception sutra navyayi bhava datom tvapanchamya which says that su after an avyayi bhava samasa is not deleted if that avyayi bhava samasa ends in short a rather it is substituted by am so we have pratyaksha plus am and when we apply the sandhi rules we get the form pratyaksham granthaha pratyaksham vartate the book is facing the eyes towards the eyes granthaha pratyaksham vartate so pratyaksha is an avyaya in this particular way similarly akshnoho param beyond eyes and akshnoho param is the laukika vigraha the alaukika vigraha is para plus su plus akshi plus os now 
it gets this becomes now this is an alaukika vigraha we get the pratipadika saudhnya over here this is the alaukika vigraha and so we get the samasa saudhnya and then we add the samasanta suffix touch over here we also get the pratipadika saudhnya so now we have para plus su plus akshi plus os plus touch and then we apply supodhatu pratipadika yoho and we delete both the sups so we have para plus zero plus akshi plus zero plus a and then we apply yasya teacher which deletes the final e in akshi and so we have para plus zero plus aksha plus zero plus a and so finally we have para plus zero plus aksha plus zero plus a and now this a becomes o in para therefore we have paro plus zero plus aksha plus zero plus a and then we have paro aksha when we join them together we get the form paroksha this is an avyabhava samasa output ending in short a because avyabhava samasa is an avyaya the supratyaya added after paroksha and avyaya would normally be deleted by the sutra avyayadapsapaha but because paroksha ends in short a su is not deleted rather it is substituted by am by the sutra navyayibhavad atomto panchamyaha and so we get the form paroksham similarly when the meaning to be conveyed is befitting the eyes akshnoho yogyam that is the laukika vigraha we get the alaukika vigraha namely sam plus su plus akshi plus os now we get the samasa saudhnya then we add the samasanta suffix touch over here so we have sam plus su plus akshi plus os plus touch pratipadika saudhnya takes place and then we apply the sutra supodhatu pratipadika yoho so we have sam plus zero plus akshi plus zero plus a and then we have the sutra yasya ticha applying deleting the final e in akshi and so we have sam plus zero plus akshi plus zero plus a when we join them together we get the form samaksha befitting the eyes so samaksha plus su now when su is added after samaksha it would generally be deleted because samaksha is an avyaya and the sutra avyayada apsupah would apply but because samaksha ends in short a we have the exception sutra namely navyai bhavad atomto panchamya applying which says that when the avyai bhav samasa ends in short a su is not deleted but is rather substituted by am and so we have samaksha plus am so we get the word form samaksham by applying the sandhi rules similarly we have behind the eyes this is the meaning to be conveyed akshnoho paschat is the laukika vigraha so we have anu plus su plus akshi plus os as the alaukika vigraha the samasa over here is stated by the sutra avyayam vibhakti etc now we have the samasa saudhnya therefore we add the samasanta suffix touch here anu plus su plus akshi plus os plus touch we also have the pratipadika saudhnya therefore now we apply supodhatu pratipadika yoho so we have anu plus zero plus akshi plus zero plus a then we apply yasya ticha because of which e in akshi gets deleted so we have anu plus 0 plus aksha plus 0 plus a and when we join them together we have anu aksha and then by the sandhi rule we get anvaksha this ends in short a so anvaksha is an avyay bhav samasa output which is an avyaya now we add the suffix su after it to be used in the sentence now the application of the sutra avyayadap supaha would delete the suffix su but because of the exception sutra navyai bhavad atomtva panchamyaha this su is not deleted rather it is substituted by am and so we have anvaksha plus am 
and by the application of the Sandhi rules, we get the form Anvaksham, behind the eyes, Anvaksham. Now we have a, an observation over here. The words Pratyaksha, Paroksha, Samaksha and Anvaksha are derived as examples of the Avyabhava Samasa on account of this Gana Sutra stated in this Sutra, namely Avyabhava Sharat Prabhritibhyaha. In some senses, even the Samasa is not stated but that is to be accepted only on account of the statement in this particular Gana. However, we do find that these words Pratyaksha, Paroksha, Samaksha and Anvaksha, they behave differently in the literature. They become qualifiers of nouns like Kriya etc., Pratyaksha Kriya, Paroksha Kriya etc. So here we note that even though the word Pratyaksha or Paroksha grammatically derived in this particular manner mean something, it also has an extended meaning where there is no, sometimes no relation with the constituent meanings. These are the texts referred to. We continue studying the Samasanta Pratyaya stated in the section 54107 up to 54112 from these sources. Ashtadhyayi. Samarthandika from the Vyakarana Mahabhashya, Vakyapadiya, Kashika Vritti, and Samasa Prakarana from the Vyakarana Siddhanta Kaumadi. Thank you very much.